Hi guys, I'm the Doug and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to pick another stock on this beautiful uh, not up day. Today is bad. It's been bad for the last, I don't know, seven to ten days. The tech, tech sector has just gotten destroyed. The growth, oh my gosh. I don't even want to look at the growth stocks right now. Uh, if you follow SoFi, Affirm, all those bad boys, they're just they're just getting massacred right now. Um, this, the Fed is just scaring everybody right now with the interest rate hikes, even though it's only going to be at most three to maybe four interest rate hikes in 2022, which is, would only be 0.75 increase to maybe 1% at most. And I'm sure with the market getting scared like it is right now, that might taper back the expectations of four rate hike increases this year. So I think the market's a little overblown on this whole rate increase. I mean, the Fed is still buying or uh, still a printing, the, pre the printing press is still going. So, I don't know. He, he, they say one thing, but they're still printing money. Like, if, they, if they're so scared of inflation, they should stop immediately. So, I think it's overblown. I think, I honestly do think the inflation is transitory, unlike most people who do disagree with me. But we'll see. I think this reading this week that comes out, I believe Wednesday, we'll see. Could be scary, but it could be uh, it could be good. It could be less, a lot less than they expect. I think it's... The, two seven percent increase or something like that they're expecting but whatever we'll see how it goes um today we're gonna look at some beaten down well it was beaten down when i wanted when i first started looking at it this morning but now it's actually up but we'll we'll get to there in a second and first let me get this out of the way this video is actually sponsored by the subscribe button please subscribe it really helps i'm a new channel let's get this bad boy going let's get this community started i like that fine let me look at me i got this sweet party shirt on you know, it's bright colors, even though it's a down day. I mean, I don't want to look at my other portfolio, what it looks like right now. It's not, not, not good. So that having been said, let's, uh, let's get going. Let's, uh, find some, uh, let's find a stock to buy <laughs> on this down day, but the stock is actually up the one I was looking at. Tesla, have you ever heard of it? I mean, it's a, it's a new stock on the, on the, uh, market. If you haven't heard of it yet, um, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so. We got Weeble up here. Uh, let's check this bad boy out. So, so it's, it's in a upward trend channel here. You know, it's kind of down. I, I was looking at it when it almost hit a thousand this morning. I was like, oh, it's time to buy it. It got down to where did it get down to? Almost. Oh, it did. It got dropped. Let's see. Let's go to the, let's go to the uh, five minute chart. What did it get down to? 980 got down this morning. Oh, I wish I'd gotten on this earlier. So, oh well. Can't get can't get them can't get the bottom always. So go back to the day chart, zoom out. Got this nice upward channel I like. So that's that's good. It's under a thousand, or it's just above a thousand. So it's not bad. It's been it was up. To, what was its peak? Twelve forty three, back on beginning of November before everything got crazy and everything went down. So we're at least we're off the highs. So that's that's good. I don't I don't like to buy thing at all buy buy stocks at all time highs. We should be, I should be buying everything right now because everything just got destroyed, especially if it's a growth stock. Um, so, yeah, and some other reasons why Tesla's great. I mean, 2021, their delivery numbers were amazing. Let's see, let's hop over to here. Let's see if I can do this right. Um, let's see where we at. Okay, cool. We're here. So, I mean, their numbers beat expectations in 2021 when in, during a pandemic i mean it's it's crazy i mean they beat by what 130,000 plus cars in 2021 while other car makers all have sold less cars in 2021 than 2020 unlike tesla who sold more cars in 2021 than 2020 so that's that's extremely bullish um then with the whole chip shortage issue that all the other car makers had to like shut down plants after plant tesla guess what they didn't do you know why? Because they have their own software design engineers. While Ford and GM or all, all the other guys, they have to outsource all this uh, software redevelopment with the new chips or whatever chips they have available at the time. Unlike Tesla, who is able to evolve with the situation with the chip shortage and create new software that works with whatever chips they can get at the time. So that's that's pretty amazing. I mean, the company was started in Silicon Valley, so that only made sense that they had their own in-house software engineers. So that's that's another bullish case for Tesla going forward, especially now. I mean, I'm, I'm driving around nowadays. All I see is Teslas more and more. Maybe because I want a Tesla, even though I can't get a Tesla because the apartment that I currently live in 
I cannot have a charging station here because the electrical is just way too old. It'd be need a major upgrade, and that would just increase my rent. So I'm gonna hold off on the Tesla purchase for a little while now, at least until I need a car, even though my car is 10 years old with 160,000 miles on it. <clears throat> but it's still going good. Cars are terrible investments. So I would always recommend driving your car into the ground. Don't, don't keep up with the Joneses. You don't need a car. That's not a good investment. A good investment is buying Tesla stock, not a Tesla car, even though I want one. And I will probably buy one in the future once uh, I need a car, not because I want a car. Um, what else? Oh, oh, and it's freaking Tesla. They're freaking, well, that, that hurts, somewhat hurts steel that keeps going back and forth, whether it's signed or it isn't signed. It's a massive, massive deal, you know? It could be awesome for Tesla going forward. With the, and then other co rental car companies, maybe they'll be able to get on board too. I don't know if it's exclusive to Hertz or not, but you know, the details are kind of fuzzy. They kind of keep going all over, all over the place. Elon Musk says one thing, Hertz says another thing. I don't know. I mean, that was like a month ago when it hit all time highs. So it's kind of been fading ever since then, just because with the market in general. And with this terrible day we're having today, Tesla somehow is green. I don't know. How's that possible? How's it green? Look at this. We're up freaking 0.63% when the freaking NASDAQ and the everything S&P is down ridiculous. The growth stocks are just getting murdered even more. So that's why I'm looking Tesla right now. I mean, I've been holding off buying Tesla for a long time now. I mean... I watch all the other YouTubers. They're, they're, they've been pushing it forever and ever and ever. They kind of fade away and start talking about other gross socks like, uh, I don't know, a firm or Tattoo Chef or uh, SoFi. I do like SoFi, and unfortunately, I do like the Chef too, but we're not going to get into that right now. Um, but so that having been said, let's, uh, let's go buy some Tesla stock. I mean, I'm not super rich, so we're going to do like the, the average guy would do or average person. So Tesla... Let's uh, invest. Let's, let's, let's buy one whole share. I'm going to do a little, something a little different today. We'll do one whole share. One, zero, three, five. Just to make sure I get one whole share. Next. Summit. Oh, no. It was just less than a share. Oh, well. It was close enough. Okay. So, uh, bought $1,000 worth of stock, or $1,037 worth of Tesla stock right now, and uh, we'll see how that goes, and if it goes down a little bit more, maybe we'll cost the average down, or we'll, I don't know, maybe we'll chase it. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, Tesla, I mean, they're forecasting for 2025. It, it's looking great, so, I mean, I see them on the road all the time. They look good. They don't, they don't, uh, they don't have to deal with chip shortages right now, which is an extremely important thing with the car makers, so we'll see how everything goes. Hopefully the market relaxes a little bit after we get these inflate, uh, inflation numbers here on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, so make sure you like and subscribe and check back for more stock picks. And remember, this is just educational uh, educational base, not financial advice by any means, um, as you all know that. I mean, this is fun. We, we're trying to grow a community here. Um, there's a link below for our Discord channel. I post all, all my trades on there. Um, right now it's free to join. Um, if we start getting some spam and whatnot, we'll definitely change that to a, a small fee just to keep those people out and, uh, exclusive exclusivity. Um, yeah, so that's, that's all we have to do. And, uh, oh, and f follow me on public.com where I just made that trade. Um, if you deposit a hundred dollars, you can get upwards of a, upwards of $300 in free stock. So definitely check that out and, uh, follow me on there for all my trades as well. Cause, uh, it's more of like a social media. You can follow your favorite, uh, traders or social media people or whoever and um yeah well, i hope everyone has a wonderful day and hope for greener markets ahead